Hello everyone, this is Vintage Noodle. And yes, there is a game based on Australia's Emu Wars. There may be others, there may even be a whole ute load, but this one is the one that caught my eye. Now Emu Wars you say? What's that? Well, let's give you the skinny. In 1932, Major GPW, Gunner J. O'Halloran and Sergeant S. McMurray went to war against the Emus in Australia. This was sanctioned by the Australian government. Was the Australian populace actually ready for this war? Could we win against an adversary the world never expected? A war against those tyrant birds? Well, you have to play the game to find out. Now in actuality, the Great Emu War was an effort by the government to eliminate emus which were seen as a nuisance at the time. The Australian army actually used machine guns against the emus, and although it was a terrible and bloody war, <laughs> only about 300 out of the 20,000 plus emus died, so it didn't go that well. Eventually the army had to surrender to the emus, and thus was the ending of the Great Emu War. Now this game takes to heart all of this and puts you in control of the real hero of the story. The emus. Now their tagline is, the fastest emu in Western Australia takes on a regiment of Australian soldiers. Your goal is to run around the desert scratching soldiers to death. Enemy soldiers appear in waves and it's up to you, the great emu, to charge them down, taking their lives. Sounds gruesome? Well, it's actually fun and light. Every time you make contact with a soldier, colloquial terms like get fucked mate, yeah nah ah, and <laughs> heap sick are used. Now as fun as the game is, we lost a lot of good birds in that war. But seriously, uh, when I was researching this, I went through the Wikipedia page and looked up Great Emu Wars. And uh, some of the stuff on there is actually kind of funny. <laughs> I know it's not 100% vetted on Wikipedia, but there were a couple of little beauties that I found. This is one. Summarizing the culls, the machine gunner's dream of point-blank fire into serried masses of emus were soon dissipated. Emu command had evidently ordered guerrilla tactics, and its unwieldy army soon split up into innumerable small units. That made use of the military equipment uneconomic. A crestfallen field force therefore withdrew from the command area after about a month. The other one that made me laugh a lot is this one. After the withdrawal, Major Meredith compared the emus to Zulus and commented on the striking maneuverability of the emus, even while badly wounded. If we had a military division with the bullet carrying capacity of these birds, it would face any army in the world. They can face machine guns with the invulnerability of tanks. They are like Zulus whom even dum-dum bullets could not stop. Alright guys, <laughs> if you're interested in the game, uh, or even just giving props to the, to the developer, you can find the information below. Now thanks for watching, and please subscribe and hit the like button because it really helps.